All right, we are back, and uh, we are going to uh, talk to former WWE champion Jack Swagger in a second. Um, we are. Uh, uh, let's bring him on real quick. We do have to take a hard ABC News break. But hi, uh, hi, Jack. How are you, brother? Hey, Scott. I'm good, man. How are you? We got Chad and Grizzly Redwood and my other buddy Scott here. Uh, I, I guess uh, you know. Ever been to Atlantic City before? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Never uh, left with any money though. <laughs> now, the, why do you think those buildings are so damn big, Jack? Nobody does. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, all right. Well, Jack is going to be uh, one of the co-headlining uh, events this weekend. Uh, he is going to be fighting TJ Marconi. Uh, we're going to talk to him about that. And all the guys have lots of questions for Jack Swagger, former WWE champ, who's going to be at the SWF Wrestling Roll the Dice uh, Saturday, June 10th, 6 to 11. Uh, get your tickets at eventbrite.com. All right, we are back. Is that is that um, is that the theme? No, no, we don't have Jack's theme song. All right, hi Jack, how are you? We're back, and uh, we're going to be at SWF Wrestling Roll the Dice Saturday, June tenth, six to ten, at the Osain Joseph Resort Hotel, right on the Black Horse Pike in Atlantic City. Uh, if you want tickets, the best way to do it is go to Eventbrite uh, and search for that, or you can also go to SWF Pro. Tickets start at just twenty bucks, right, Chad? Yeah. Uh, Jack, so, you know, you just kind of broke away from the WWE, and, and uh, you know, this is a real chance to sort of establish yourself as, uh, as uh, you know, in this independent circles. Is, is it kind of exciting for you to sort of start on this new road? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very exciting. I was fortunate to go right to the WWE uh, right out of college, so I haven't seen this side of it, and I'm expecting uh, for it to really take a hold of me, and uh show me uh different things with wrestling and different uh approaches and perspectives and uh i really am looking forward to uh learning and uh growing and right becoming a a better performer out of it no i don't i i'm gonna let all these wrestling guys uh, ask to ask the ask the bigger questions but you know you know is it is it when you first break away uh and you know, have all the, you know the fame and and you had a belt and you had all that stuff that the wwe brought is it important now to sort of seize the day and and try to uh get out there as much as possible absolutely i mean one of the main reasons why i left is because i felt my hard work wasn't going to amount to, you know, what I was putting in. And so now, be careful what you wish for. Uh, my hard work uh, is going to directly involve, you know, be directly related to uh, my success. So I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I'm ready to step up and uh, uh, really, really show what Jack Swagger is. So I don't know how deep you want to get into that, Jack. But you, you, you know, you, you felt. I mean, they, they, you did get a belt. I mean, you did. You did have some fame there. You did. You, you know, but you just felt that what they weren't pushing you to the forefront enough uh, for your taste. Well, I had been there almost ten years. Uh, very fortunate for the career that I that I have with the WWE. They took they took care of me. Um, it just it was a couple of things money was one of them mm -hmm. after 10 years uh i valued myself at a certain price and you know business decisions they didn't so that was one of it but also personally i, I think it was just time for me to get a change uh change the scenery and uh explore uh wrestling somewhere else because like i said right. i've only known the wwe style and there's so much out there and there's never been a better time to be a pro wrestling fan or a pro wrestler i feel like yeah and you're still young i mean you're 30 you're 35 and you know like as we know uh, most most people's major league baseball and football careers and you know and you're you're a big athlete played all, all kind of sports uh they end around 35 so i mean you, the window of probably where you can really uh you know are at the top of your physical condition is in the next you know five years or so right yeah yeah i definitely would agree with that and so you got to take that into um you know that also plays a factor into the decision and to like there's a there's a window where the people lucky enough to do this they have a window to do it and uh either you take that chance and opportunity or you don't and uh i'm not saying that the five you know they wanted to sign me for another five years uh and i and i walked away from that just right. because i feel like i need to accomplish uh something outside of there all right, Chad, go ahead, buddy. All right, for, first off, it's a pleasure dealing with you so far. Uh, I have a question. Being a free agent now, what stars around the world would you want to match up against? Hey, Chad. Uh, yeah, man, everywhere I go, um, uh, people have been, I kind of ask people, like, who who they want me to wrestle and where they want me to wrestle for. Um, Matt Riddle has been up there a lot. 
Um, I just wrestled Mike Elgin. Man, what a what a what a performer he is! Uh, amazing. Um, I'm uh, I'm really excited for the opportunity to really wrestle anywhere and anyone. Um, I'm I'm very good at wrestling people for the first time and having uh, a great match, and so I'm, I imagine a lot of that is going to be happening. So I look forward to that challenge. Um, but I'm I'm open for anyone. Cool. Uh, you know, I I don't know, uh, I, dude. I I'm not a big wrestling fan, but I, you know, I've seen you here. You know, uh, in, in the big, I usually watch WrestleMania and you know something with my buddy Scott here. But mm-hmm. you know, I, does your persona change as a wrestler? Do you change? You know, uh, is there anything that you that the WWE wanted you to do that maybe now as an independent you can change as a personality? Yeah, absolutely, and I think that's going to be part of the journey going through uh, this this style of professional wrestling, and it, it's going to you know kind of be a natural thing i'm just gonna let it go and and try to see uh where it ends up um of course you know there's a certain uh perspective and programming that wwe wanted and uh there's certain things that got hot you know that they never did anything with so um we'll kind of you know mix a little bit of both old and new and uh see where it goes Right now, uh, the biggest thing is I, I got rid of the singlet. Uh, I know I'm an amateur all-American wrestler, but uh, sometimes <laughs> the singlet just ain't sexy. So, <laughs> I got so you got a whole new uh, outfit? Yeah, I just I got tired of people asking me about my leotard. I'm like, it's a singlet. <laughs> hey, man, Ken Patera, uh, you, you know, he, he he rocked that thing in the 70s or in the 80s, right? Absolutely. Um, uh, 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 wrestling, roll the dice. It's happening at the O St. Joseph Resort Hotel in Atlantic City. All you got to do is go to Eventbrite, uh, or you can also go to uh, swfpro.com for tickets that start at just $20. Uh, the uh, former... WWE champ uh, Jack Swagger will be fighting TJ Marconi. Alberto El Patron, also known as Albert Del Rio, will be there against Penta El Zero. And uh, the one and only Grizzly Redwood in, in the studio, uh, uh, he'll be fighting as well. Now, we were uh, uh, Jack, we were talking to Grizzly about uh, who trained you, uh, uh, Gr- uh, Grizzly? Uh, Austin Aries. Austin Aries trained him uh, back in the day. Jack, is there somebody you look back to as uh, uh, that you can say that really helped you establish your personality, but also uh, just some of your moves and, and, and who you became as as a wrestler um like i was six months in deep south with bill demott i'm a demott guy i had six months in ovw with al snow and danny davis uh they were tremendous um i'd say i'd have to credit the most of the character and uh my wrestling career to skinner uh, uh steve kern dr tom pritchard uh Norman Smiley and uh, Dream, Dusty Rhodes. Those were the four guys that were uh, at FCW when we were starting it up. And I think that's when I had my biggest jump and, like, the most light bulbs came on uh, when I was learning this business. And, uh, man, they were phenomenal. Skinner, Dr. Tom, uh, Smiley, and Dream, just, like, willing to help and, you know, not afraid to make fun of you at the same time. Skinner one time was trying to get me to change my gear, and he just uh, filmed a match of mine where he just zoomed in on my crotch, <laughs> and, uh, these little biker shorts I was wearing at the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, Chad, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Being a WWE champion probably has to be one of the biggest goals in your career. What goals do you have now outside of WWE? Yeah, uh, being World Heavyweight Champion is a great honor. Uh, I will take that with me wherever I go. Um, I have a I have a lot of goals uh, outside. Um, I mean, the biggest goal is that every night I want to put on a five star match, and uh, that may seem like a small thing, but to me, that's like the most important thing. And you start with that: put on a five star match, uh, be available to the fans, and really just put yourself out there um socially like i would like to accomplish things on social media as far as with wrestling um my wife and i started a uh a merchandising company so i also have goals and i want to grow uh grow lfr life in- into uh something that can bring home the donuts eventually all right well let's start here how, how, how do people reach you on social media and, and what's your website jack uh, you can reach uh, me at Real Jack Swagger on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, you can reach my wife, Miss Catalina Swagger, at Catalina Swagger on both of those. And the website, it should be up by next week. It's going to be lfrlife.com, uh, the home of 
not only the Jack Swagger merchandise, but uh, uh, wrestlers around the world send to come. Uh, it's going to be a one-stop shop where you can design to delivery and get any and all types of merchandise. I think uh, anybody who's a wrestling fan uh, certainly knows Jack Swagger, and he'll be in Atlantic City next Saturday, June 10th. Uh, now, Jack, one thing, you know, when I was a kid, uh, or actually when I was a teenager, I used to work in a place called the Catholic Youth Center in Scranton, Pennsylvania, and all my heroes used to come in and wrestle there, Bob Backlund and Don Morocco and all those guys uh, when I was just a teenager. Uh, is, there, is there somebody that you look up to that maybe you met along the way as part of the WWE, one of your heroes that ended up becoming someone that you you know you, you could say that you you got to know and, and and a childhood hero kind of became maybe not a friend but at least an acquaintance oh yeah absolutely um when i was at ovw i was i was fortunate enough for uh dr death steve williams was working uh with the company at the time um uh, coming up with talent and whatnot and so it made sense for him and i to do a couple tag matches uh against the James boys, Cassidy and Casey. Uh, it was a lot of fun um, and just such an honor to share the ring with, you know, a legend like that and uh, just listen to him and see his perspective. And, and like, you know, just the cherry on top that there's not a person in Oklahoma that didn't grow up with Dr. Death Steve Williams <laughs> or Danny Hodge, you know, in their household, you know, so like, it really kind of like took me back. I'm like, whoa! I'm like, I'm very lucky awesome. to have this job, and it was very cool. Well, uh, Jack Swagger's a big boy. Uh, they have you listed here as six seven and two sixty. Is that about right? That sounds about right. Yeah, uh, I've been leaning up a little bit, trying to move better. All right, uh, but you know, just like every other wrestler in the world, you live in Florida. What is it about? Is there a wrestling magnet that I'm not aware of that brings all wrestlers to Florida at one point? Uh, well, I think professional wrestlers just love Florida girls, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. I don't blame you one bit. Yeah. Um, all right, yeah. well, Jack, you're a super nice guy and a, and a super talented wrestler, and uh, we do appreciate uh, you jumping on the phone with us, and we uh, and i got to give you a lot of credit, man. It takes a lot of guts to walk away uh, from money and, and fame and uh, and to try to sort of pursue your own dream, and, I, and we all here wish you the best of luck, and, and we're all going to root for you when you come into Atlantic City next Saturday. Awesome, man. I'm, I'm looking forward to coming to uh, Atlantic City and wrestling for SF or SWF and putting on an amazing show. So come on out. All right. Thank you, brother. Hey, thank you, guys. All right, absolutely. Jack Swagger, former WWE champion, will be coming uh, to the uh, O St. Joseph Hotel uh, inside, uh, right on the Black Horse Pike in Atlantic City. Uh, it's uh, it's pretty easy to find. Uh, you just drive right down that Black Horse Pike. It's right on your right-hand side. It used to be, I think, um, God, I can't remember what it was, but it was like something fitness and golf and tennis world or I something know, like I that. Know where you're... Uh, and it's uh, it's going to happen. A great lineup. We'll tell you all about that. Uh, if you want tickets, they start at just twenty dollars, and you just go to SFWF Pro, SWF Pro dot com. You can also like them on Facebook dot com slash SWF Live. Chad uh, really uh, trying to do right by Atlantic City by bringing uh, the first independent uh, wrestling show to Atlantic City in ten years. So off the press with Scott Chronic continues on News Talk fourteen hundred W O N D. All right, we're here with uh, Grizzly Redwood, Matt. Go ahead, you say it. Ayakaniani. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Did, did Ray, Ray yeah. actually take that name? She did. Now yeah. she's got the best initials in the world. She really, does. she really does love you if she took that name. She must. Uh, and uh, we got Scott Lefferson, who has a bad hair hair, hair dye in his hair. How you doing, Scott? It's just in my sideburn. So and hard. then uh, Chad Minnis, who's putting on this uh, great wrestling event next Saturday, June 10th, at the O St. Joseph Resort Hotel in West Atlantic City. Uh, you can go to eventbrite.com. You can also go to swfpro.com and uh, get your tickets that start at just twenty dollars. I, I thought he was pretty cool, right? Yeah, it was Jack, awesome. Jack Swagger, he was a nice guy. Yeah. yeah. You think he can make it? Uh, is he? Does he have that pedigree as a, as a wrestler to 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 be able to make it as an indie? Absolutely. <clears throat> yeah. I think there's some guys who've left WWE in the last few years who are able to reinvent themselves mm -hmm. and then become more valuable to WWE. Where they and look, they bring them back? And then they bring them back later on down the road. Like, hey, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to do a lot of independent stuff. I'm going to do a lot of crazy different things and change my persona. And then WWE looks at them as like, hey, we can do something with them. Yeah. It makes themselves almost more valuable. It's, no, it's a absolutely. risk, but at the same time, it 
It works sometimes. Makes total sense. So he'll be fighting TJ Marconi, who uh, was also a WWE guy? Uh, no, not, not no. yet. Uh, oh, but he's good, huh? He's good, yeah, he's definitely. Gonna, so how is that? When you're putting this together, Chad, how, how difficult is that for you uh, like to pair people up? Do you have to like get Jack to approve them? Like a guy like Jack's level, does he have to approve, yeah, I'll fight that guy? I actually didn't ask him at all. I put it together and uh, just gave it to him, and he was okay. And how about like uh, Del Rio? What was he like? Same thing? Some requests, uh huh. Yeah. Some requests, but 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 why does he? Why was he cool with Penta L Zero? Who's that? He 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 knows of his style and he knows him. Yeah, he's another Mexican star and he's from Lucha Underground and uh, they were supposed to wrestle in Europe actually uh, and Pentagon couldn't do it for some reason. He's not masked, is he? He is. Oh, I love that. Yeah, it's, oh, that's awesome. Lucha Underground is a uh, luchador show that's on uh, the El Rey Network that uh, Rubber Rodriguez has. Oh, okay. It's a Netflix show specifically for that network. What's that? It's Dan? also on Netflix now as well. So if you yeah. want to check yeah, it out, yeah, the first two seasons. Seasons are on Netflix. Um, uh, have they renewed that? Are they going to do it still? I know, know they started the second half of the third season, but I don't know if they're coming back for a fourth season. It's almost shot like a TV show. It's very. It's not shot like a wrestling show. Mm-hmm. It's all pre-taped, and they cut it together, and then it's it has like a storyline going through. It's 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 weird if you're used to watching your typical like live wrestling. It's, right. a, it's a totally different kind of animal, but it's a lot of lucha and masked wrestlers. And uh, the other guy who's going to be fine, there'll be a lot of people. There'll be actually a women's triple threat match. you got a Lucha Underground star, Taya, versus another Lucha Underground star, cheerleader Melissa, uh, versus Impact Wrestling star, Lax's Angel Rose. So that sounds fun. They, they, the th- it's like uh, they just beat up on each other, but there's three people in the ring at one time? Correct. Oh, that's yeah. kind of cool. Yeah, what I try to do is uh, give everybody something a little bit of everything. Like there's a ladder match. There's a singles huh. match, tag team match, uh, an Atlantic City Rumble. So you have a little variety of matches just to give the fans of Atlantic City something, you know, to, for shows down the line to know what to build on. Well, I that, went on a limb here too, and I, I think the women in Lucha Underground are better than ninety percent of the women on the WWE roster. They're wow. just talented, extremely talented. Are they? Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, and, and then my boy here, Grizzly Redwood, fighting Rhett Titus, uh, who, who actually helped helped him. Uh, it's it's going to be a show stealer. So, so do you do you? Rehearse with him, or, or is he not around here? Oh, I don't rehearse with anybody. You don't rehearse with anybody. No. So, so you just go at it, man. And just get in to do it. So, that, I mean, that's pretty. Uh, so you haven't done it in two years. So how do you how do you train? How do you do this, man? Look at me, I train. <laughs> but I mean, are there, are there rings that you can go in? No, and, there there are. I still go up to the Ring of Honor school here and there. Okay. I uh, try to get my wind up, my stamina up, and. Because it, it, other than that, it's going to be like riding a bike, man. I know it. But it's a whole other kind of workout, right? I mean, it's oh yeah. No, I it's mean, if you're not different. in shape, you're you're going to be winded pretty quickly. Oh yeah, I'll yeah. be fine though. Yeah, be all right. Yeah, I got strong lungs. So so do you? So what is the si- Grizzly Redwood signature move? Flying double X handle, man. Which is what? Explain that to us. Remember Macho Man Randy Savage? No. Yes. No, you're no, kidding I me. No, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I know who he is. Yeah. Uh, so, really, just off the top off rope? Off the top rope, double axe handle right to the dome, man. So, you just Put stole his because you couldn't come up with something original? Well, I'm a lumberjack. <laughs> man. I'm a lumberjack. You needed an axe? Yeah. Well. Yeah, I get it. And what else What, what, what else do you feel, you feel like that you're really good at? Uh, uh, taking a punch. Drop. <laughs> about, I, I, I could see you drop kicking. You're drop a drop kicker. I have a little bit of high flying stuff I like to do. Uh huh. Um,. Got some pretty strong hands for a little guy. And Scott, you've seen him fight before, right? I've what, what? never seen actually Grizzly what? wrestle live. I've seen him on tape and everything like that. And I what mean, are you impressed by when you tape? see him jumping How old around? Are you? You've on, seen tape. Me on tape. I saw him on VHS. <laughs> yeah, VHS. Tape, like, yeah. No, I've seen him on like online. I would say that I, I've seen that, but. Uh, He's he's a good like he's a good uh, is it insulting to say enhancement talent? Is no, that, no, it's fine. No, like he's no, a guy insulting. who like when yeah. he's in the ring with someone makes them look really good. Uh-huh. Like he could fight anybody, and he's just he knows how to make the other person shine. And do you love the adrenaline of that? Like when the crowd is there? And oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's addicting, man. Are you a fan? But you're a fan of wrestling in general, right? Yeah, you you like watch it big time, right? Yeah. So uh, the the. the the card every time you watch it for the last two years, you're like, oh, I got to do this again, right? Uh, well, when when I was all laid up in my knee, uh, <laughs> in, in a sling and not walking and getting yelled at for not doing laundry, right? Um, I'd watch it and be like, oh, cool, cool. But like right. the past like six, seven months, I've been like, all right, like I can run now, I can jump now. And what does the wife think? Is she uh, supportive? Yeah, no, she's excited. She's not worried about you blowing your knee out again. Mm, not as far as I know. Well, Good. I think when you look at WWE right now, a lot of the people he came up with are. On this card. On the main event. Like, right. Of, like, in WWE right now. Like, everybody that he sort of wrestled with years ago are, are, like, the champions now. So it's like, 
That would make me want to come I'm back. I'm the loser to the stars. <laughs> <laughs> Leverson, you could have been a manager, maybe. Yes, yeah, so just an irritating... I always want to be an irritating manager. Yeah, like like, like a, life. Like from the 80s. Like I want to be like a wi- Grand Wizard or a Freddie Blassie where, or a Jimmy Hart. Right. Where you just get underneath the heels. The, 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 you get underneath people's skin and they come after you. All guys with bad hair. hair Bobby hair, Heenan. Hair, <laughs> the greatest manager ever. More, more of a Jimmy Hart. All right. Really we have about uh, 30 seconds. Chad, I'm going to let you wrap it up, man. What do you want people to know out there, man? Uh, just again, come out. It's going to be a great time. www.swfpro.com. Tickets start at $20. VIP for 150 Includes meet and greet with the stars. And does that mean autographs, pictures, all that stuff, right? Correct. And uh, and that's great, man. You get to meet Jack Swagger. You get to meet Albert Del Rio. Uh, all, everybody on the yeah, card. Yeah, the three girls, Pentagon. All right. Well, sounds like a great time. Please go support another local guy trying to do great things locally in our backyard. Next Saturday, 6 to 11, at the O St. Joseph Resort Hotel in West Atlantic City. Tickets are available at Eventbrite, or you can go to SWF Pro Wrestling. Our SWFPro.com. Uh, good luck to you guys, and thanks for coming on the Thank show. Thank you so much.